What it do, y'all? This your boy King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe, hit the like button for me. First of all, I want to thank everybody for helping us reach 60,000 subscribers. We want to thank everybody that took time to support us, and we're going to keep this thing moving. Thank you once again. So now, I want to talk about this song here. One of the best songs of 96 and one of my all-time collaborations, which was Tupac Shakur and Snoop Dogg, two of America Most Wanted. See, what made this song more special to me was the backstory. Number one, this was the first time Tupac and Snoop collabed. Number two, the timing was perfect. Tupac had just got fresh out of jail. Snoop Dogg was acquitted of his murder trial. So it's only right to put these two powerhouses together. And people were thinking at first, Dre needed to do the beat. Instead, he let Daz do the beat. And so people were like, at first, in, in my circle, were like, I don't know how good this is going to turn out. Dre, anything that Dre touched was magic. It turned to gold. And they wanted to be like Dre to do it. But I was like, don't sleep on Daz. Don't sleep on Daz. So when I first heard the song, I noticed two things. Number one. Snoop changed his style. When you listen to the Chronic and Doggy style, he was a fierce spitter. Over here, he played on the Tupac's aggressiveness, and he became more of the cool, laid-back flow. And he started incorporating that into his eternal style, which you can hear to this day. And second, the beat itself was more so old-school mafia, so that was the new vision that Death Row was going. Going back with the whole Godfather theme with the 1996 Vibe cover. They was going with the more mafioso theme. And I think they were using Tupac as a catalyst to do that. So, the song itself was was a representation of, the, of them living the outlaw lifestyle. To me, this song really catapulted both of their careers to icons. Two of America's Most Wanted. The timing was not, it was, it was so perfect. And of course you had the video when they was in court. They had they brought the suits. They brought the whole mafioso look to the table. Death Row was revigorating their image to look more like mafia ish. You look from 92 to 94, they were looking like they were straight off the block. And big shout out to Kenya Ware for discussing this about the Death Row image. You know what I'm saying? Because she played a heavy part in being an image consultant. Because you look at the transition from 93 to 96. I say both Kenya and Tupac played a heavy role in the revamp of Death Row Image. And you see it in the video. You see it in the sound. And it seemed like to me also they were trying to slowly riff away from the Dr. Dre G-Funk sound into more of that. And it went perfect. It went perfect. And to this day, this song is a timeless classic. They both played on each other. Strengths. Like, from Two of America Most Wanted to Wanted Dead or Alive to Street Life. If there's a cure for this, man, snooping, snooping. Pot got great chemistry, man. It's just unfortunate that they couldn't do more because of the tension. But this song right here is total legendary, man. And the reason what made me motivate to do this video was the infamous video that's going viral now that I shared where Snoop Dogg saw a lookalike Tupac singing America's Most Wanted at his concert. So, yeah, this is a legendary cut, man. Like, this is one of the best collabs I ever heard. So, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, hit the like button, holla.